long range technique, we have a different kinds of defenses. My, my master Tony Diego said that the system of Calis Estresimo fighting is a combination of a Spanish sword fighting and a Filipino sword fighting. Because when you go in the long range distance, it looks like, more like this, the Friley technique. Yes, it goes like this. He strikes, he goes like that. He attacks Angulo, we have because this florete technique here. So according to my master, when it comes to long range, it is a combination of a Spanish fencing. So when it comes to a close range fighting, okay, by the way, this is the distance of a medium and a close range fighting. So my master told me that when it is close fighting, it is more on a Filipino bolo fighting. Is now the left hand I use like this to cut. Here, if I'm here, he attacks. Bang! Here, he attacks high. I go here and cut this way, cut this way. Bang! So I go with the thrust. So, different kinds, two systems in a long range fighting, different techniques. In a short range fighting, another technique. So, this long range, if you use this kind of footwork, a retirada atracada. But in a close range like this, and a medium like this, if he strikes, I go direct. And this toe is always pointing against my pony, so I have the advantage of positioning. I'm facing him, and he's facing out there, so I have the advantage. Okay, why we use blades from the beginning so that they know how to use blades right away to block. That's like this. If I attack this way, I use the flat side to block the weapon of my opponent, so I can go cutting. Because if I go edge to edge, it will bite each other. Then. From this, it till bites, I have to pull and strike. So it was it is a two movement. So while this, boom, it slides. Second attack is here. So that's why I use this because again, if I use black with the blade, it stops. So I use the flat side to let the slides of the weapon of the opponent. Okay. He's striking me 100%. I use this one to spill off the 50% to my side. So I'm not feel uh, the 100% of his attack. Plus, moving out of the target. This is it. So he attacks, I go slide. Moving out of the target. This way. Okay. Now, when to use blockings with the blades and when to use hitting direct. So it depends upon the distance. When the distance go like this, he attacks. If I go direct, I get hit and I get hit. That's why we call this system Pasar Sa Sandata. It passes through the weapons of the opponent before I cut. So I use my blocking technique, push and cut this way. Blocking technique and push and cut. Now, if the, if the distance changes like this, if I still use blocking, I'm just wasting my time. While I can go direct by blocking my left hand against the weapon hand of the opponent, I could go thrust. If he attacks, I go here and cut this way. Okay? So, in Illustrissimo, as you go on, there's no such fighting form at all. There's no fighting form at all. Whatever your position is, is your fighting form. For example, I'm here. Then he attacks. Then I go, go directly in that position. I'm here, down. And he attacks from the Sarada. Boom. I go direct. So this is my position. I don't need to bring my weapon up just to prepare because the attack is already there.